Hello students, today I am going to start new topic, it is internal combustion engine. So let's start with the introduction of internal combustion engine. What is this internal combustion engine? Uh, basically this internal combustion engine we consider as the heat engine. This IC engine is the heat engine and uh, the heat engine is the engine which convert the chemical energy of the fuel into thermal energy and this thermal energy is further transformed into the mechanical energy or this thermal energy will further convert into the work. So this internal combustion engine is the heat engine which convert the chemical energy of fuel into thermal energy and this thermal energy is further used to produce work. Basically the heat engine are divided in two parts. We consider uh, there are two types of heat engine. One is the external combustion engine and another is the internal combustion engine. We have to study internal combustion engine so we will concentrate on this topic only. I will give you, uh, I will give you a small introduction of ex external combustion engine only but I will concentrate on internal combustion engine only. So, uh, the, the external combustion engine is the engine, uh, we can define the external combustion engine as when the combustion of the fuel takes place outside the engine. If we are considering combustion of the fuel or uh, the mixture of air and fuel takes place outside the engine, that is called external combustion engine. But in internal combustion engine, we consider the combustion of the fuel or the combustion of the mixture of fuel and air takes place inside the cylinder or inside the engine. That is why it is called internal combustion engine. The examples of uh, internal combustion engine are uh, all type of automobile we will consider. We can consider as the example or application of uh, internal combustion engine like uh, bikes, cars, bus, trucks, railway engines, locomotive, etc. All are the types of internal combustion engine where the combustion takes place inside the cylinder or inside the engine. That is why it is called internal combustion engine. But uh, the gas turbine power plant, we can take the example of external combustion engine. In gas turbine power plant, generally uh, the combustion of the fuel and air always takes place uh, in external furnace and the heat generated by the combustion is transformed or it is transferred to gas which is used in gas turbine. So gas turbine power plant uh, we can take as the example of external combustion engine and internal combustion engine we consider all type of automobile as the example or application of internal combustion engine. You can see here a diagram. This diagram is representing the spark ignition internal combustion engine or we can say this diagram is representing the nomenclature of spark ignition internal combustion engine. Spark ignition internal combustion engine means the spark ignition uh, means uh, the ignition takes place because of the spark generated by spark plug. That is why it is called spark ignition engine that I will discuss uh, later. And this spark ignition engine is also called petrol engine. So the, this diagram is representing the uh, nomenclature of uh, internal combustion engine or in other words we can say this diagram is representing the different parts which are uh, or which generally used during the working of internal combustion engine with the help of this internal with the help of all these parts the internal combustion engine works. So I will discuss one by one uh, about these parts. So the first or main part is the cylinder and inside the cylinder these all parts are situated and then you can see here this is the cylinder block and the cylinder block is supported uh, or we can say the cylinder block is covered by the cylinder head. You can see here the cylinder head. So the cylinder block is supported or the covered by the cylinder head at the top. So this, uh, this is the main part, this, this is cylinder block and this is the cylinder head at the top which supporting or which is covering the cylinder block. You can see here uh, two walls, you can see here uh, this one valve and this is another valve. This valve is representing the inlet valve and from this inlet valve the uh, fuel air mixture uh, enters into the cylinder or into the combustion chamber and from the exhaust wall after burning the combustion product or the burned gases 
or burnt fuel layer mixture uh, sweep out from this exhaust valve so these are two valves inlet valve and exhaust valve and you can see here this is the piston this piston will move uh, from top dead center to bottom dead center or from bottom dead center to top dead center inside the cylinder this piston uh, will move or the motion of the piston is we will consider as the reciprocating motion and it will move from top dead center to bottom dead center top dead center is the topmost position of the uh, piston and bottom dead center is the bottom most position of the piston and it can move opposite or vice versa also and this piston is connected with the connecting rod and this connecting rod is further connected with the crank and crankshaft so this uh, when the piston move uh, or reciprocating or the uh, when the piston move from uh, top dead center to bottom dead center or from bottom dead center to top dead center the, with the, this connecting rod is connected with piston so this connecting rod will also move and with the help of or with the movement of this connecting rod it revolve or it rotate the crank and crankshaft so this was the working of the piston you can see here uh, this is the spark plug and the spark plug is situated at the top of the cylinder and uh, uh, this uh, spark plug helps to ignite the uh, mixture of air and fuel or uh, the fuel uh, so with the help of the spark plug the, the spark plug will generate the spark inside the cylinder and that spark will help to ignite the fuel so this is the work of spark plug and you can see here this is the combustion chamber this combustion chamber is the chamber where the ignition takes place and this combustion chamber is the space between the top uh, of the uh, piston and the cylinder head or we can say this top of the cylinder this is this space is representing the combustion chamber and one more thing you uh, you can see here this is the cooling water this cooling water jacket helps to maintain the temperature of the cylinder uh, the temperature is increased because of the ignition inside the cylinder so this cooling water jacket helps to maintain the temperature of uh, of the cylinder and uh, uh, generally uh, inlet and exhaust valve always operated by the valve mechanism you can see here uh, the cam and camshaft these are also uh, this cam and camshaft help to actuate the inlet valve this is the inlet valve and this is the exhaust exhaust valve so this cam and camshaft helps to actuate the uh, or uh, it helps to uh, during the opening and closing of the inlet and exhaust valve here cam and camshaft actuate the push rod and rocker arm for opening the valve against the force of the valve spring so these are the parts uh, of the internal combustion engine where with the help of these parts uh, the internal combustion engine works this diagram is representing the working of spark ignition internal combustion engine you can see uh, the number 1 2 3 4 so these uh, numbers are representing the uh, four strokes of the working of internal combustion engine the first stroke is representing the inlet of uh, air fuel mixture inside the cylinder or inside the combustion chamber you can see uh, the in uh, by the first here uh from this this is representing the inlet valve so the fuel and air mixture enters into the cylinder and when the fuel and air mixture enters into the cylinder it will compressed by the piston by the movement from uh, bottom dead center to top dead center when this piston compress the mixture of air and fuel so the temperature and pressure of the fuel and air mixture increase and Uh, when the piston reaches the topmost position or the top dead center the spark will generated by this spark plug which helps to ignite the uh, air fuel mixture and when this air fuel mixture ignite so the uh, because of that the temperature will increase and the pressure because of the increased pressure during the ignition it will move the piston downward and this is the expansion process and after the expansion the piston will again move upward and during this fourth process or the fourth uh, stroke the burnt gases or the combustion product will sweep out from the exhaust valve so these four 
processes are representing the four stroke of the working of internal combustion engine those four stroke are first stroke is the inlet stroke or suction stroke when the fuel uh, enters into the cylinder second stroke is the compression stroke when this piston is compressing the air fuel mixture and uh, the ignition takes place during uh, at the end of the uh, compression stroke third is representing the expansion and uh, where the because of the expansion the piston moves downward from top dead center to bottom dead center and fourth is representing the exhaust stroke so during this fourth process or exhaust stroke the burnt gases or the combustion product will sweep out from the exhaust gas so this diagram is representing the working of internal combustion engine this is for spark ignition engine so uh, this was the small introduction of internal combustion engine and working of spark ignition internal combustion engine in next lectures i will discuss uh, some more topics of internal combustion engine thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures